four construction pros from Con Expo 17 right here at the Las Vegas Convention Center. And with me now is Marcus Brown, who's a product specialist with Leave here. How are you doing, sir? I'm fine. How are you doing? Nice to have you aboard. Thank you. Thank you. Good. What's your message you're bringing to the show this year? What's your big piece of equipment? Well, this year we brought our R920 Compact. It's the, um, our smallest compact excavator that we're bringing to the, um, the U.S., and we're very excited about that. Give us an idea what this piece of equipment is and how it fits into your marketplace. Well, as far as marketing, it's the smallest machine that we have, so it fits right in that portfolio where we didn't have any small machines in the past. Okay. Now we have a small machine to compete with one else. Give me an idea of what we're talking about size-wise. It's a 20 metric ton, so it's about 44,000 pounds. Right. And uh, size-wise, that's your big thing, is it? It's uh, a reduced tail swing? It has a reduced tail swing, exactly. So when you're working in a compact area, you can swing the tail and you won't hit anything, which is very important when you're working like in a city or in a very compact area. But what's it do as far as stability? Is that is that have to all be considered into the factor? Well, you do. Because it's a short tail, it can be an issue with stability. Right. So if you want to, you can add a dozer blade, and that dozer blade you can put down to um, help out with stability. And use it as a stability factor. Yeah. Use it as that or also as um, a grading tool. So how does this model set it apart from uh, the rest of your lineup? Well, it's the smallest one that we offer in the U.S. So we go from a 50, 20 metric ton all the way up to about 100. And for us, it's the smallest one. Power? What do you use it for power? It's a Lieber engine as usual. 150 horsepower, four cylinder okay. Lieber engine. And what about operator comfort? Joysticks? Oh, very comfortable cab. We're very um, known for our cab. It comes standard with um, air suspended seats. And to control the tools, if you have any auxiliary tools to control that, we have proportional controls. Okay. Very smooth. Okay. You can see see very well in that cab. Cab comfort too. Cab comfort is, is, is very very good. Very good. Yes. And this is tracked. Excuse me. Tractor wheel. Oh, it's a track machine. It's a track machine. But also, if you want, you can get rubber pads for this machine. Because a lot of time when you're working on asphalt, you don't want to have oh, rubber sure. pads so you yeah. don't um, tear it up. Yeah. So it's also a good machine for working in the in a waste transfer station. Right. Because of the size of it. So we're trying to market it towards um, guys that work in the city and also for waste. And so you have various different aspects and applications for the use of the machine. Yeah, you can also um, build the machine how you how you would like it. Um, the standard boom is a standard gooseneck boom. We also offer a two-piece boom. If oh, you want really? to work closer to the machine, it's, it's adjustable hydraulically. And we also offer um, an offset boom also. So would that be like an option? It would be an option, yes. Yeah. It would be an option. And and you anticipate, is this machine ready to go for sale, or is it previewing now for It's sale previewing later? now, and the first couple of machines will be landing in the East Coast, like in the um, end of the summer. Okay. Yeah. So that will be the first sale then? Yeah, it will be the first sale. We already had some um, some pre-sales, right. so it's, look, it's looking pretty good for us. Right. A lot of our customers like the fact that with this machine, because it's a small machine, we turn the engine lengthwise. And because it's turned lengthwise, all the daily checkpoints are right there, right there. Great for, for, for some, maintenance. For somebody to see. Ease it's, of maintenance. It's excellent for maintenance because now the operator doesn't have to climb up on top of the, um, the machine yeah, sure. to check the oil or to change the filters. And a lot of times, operators get hurt easily when they, when they climb up the um, climb up on top of the excavator. That's where most of the accidents happen. Well, I sure appreciate you bringing a message. Thank Marcus you. Barnes with Liebherr and the new R920 excavator launch on the shorter platform right here at Con Expo 17.